I was the original narrator in the musical of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat written by Andrew Lloyd Webber and uh, Tim Rice. And I went on to do uh, Evita, uh, Sunset Boulevard, and several other Andrew Lloyd Webber, Tim Rice shows. Probably I've done about eight or nine Broadway shows now, uh, and Broadway plays and uh, whatever. And uh, I decided to uh, get involved in uh, starting a musical theater class at the Beverly Hills Playhouse which is called Music in Theater. And I was always interested as a musical theater actor in the blend between the acting and the musical part of it. And uh, as most people will talk about, including Josh Logan, who I was fortunate enough to meet, who directed South Pacific and several other musicals, that you sing because you're so full of emotion, you, you can't talk anymore. And to be able to blend the acting uh, techniques of the Beverly Hills Playhouse with the musical was very exciting to me. So I've started a musical theater workshop here in which we not only come into class and every week we do two forms of dancing, tap, ballet, jazz, or hip hop. A few people know that I was in a ballet company also, San Francisco Ballet in the early 70s, and uh, was a dancer for a long time. So I combine that with the vocal technique and workout for about a half hour, and then we do scenes or songs or improvs or whatever. So in my musical theater class, all the actors work the entire class for the total three hours and we try to blend all these styles. Uh, you know, just a little sidebar. Uh, I had done a, I was the first person to do the musical Company by Stephen Sondheim in three different generations, 70s, 80s, and the 90s. And uh, in about 18, in 1989, I hadn't done a musical for a while. And I was thinking about it, and time was going on. And about 1992, uh, I said, well, I should do a musical, but what can I do in a scene to help uh, excite it? So uh, I decided to do a scene from Mary to the Mob and play the Dean Stockwell Mafia guy. And I was talking to Milton about the scene. He said, why don't you sing in the scene? You sing. So I decided to sing an aria from La Boheme. So I came out with the Michelle Pfeiffer characters there with flowers singing, Che geli da manina, se la la si riscaldar. Singing this whole aria. And anyway, we did the scene. It was very successful. And afterwards, one of the actors raised their hand and said, God, you have a great voice. Why don't you do musicals again? Well, this is interesting, and this is part of how the Beverly Hills Playhouse works on a metaphysical level, I guess you could say. About a week later, I get a call from a casting director named Vinnie Liff in New York. He says, Rick Podell, what are you doing? Vinnie, I said, how did you find me? He says, well, I found your number through some people. Listen, we're doing a musical of the movie Sunset Boulevard, directed by Trevor Nunn, a British director. There's a part in there that we want to see you for. Would you be interested in coming in and singing and reading for us? No one had called me in like three years for a Broadway musical theater audition. No, I had done a lot of shows in the 80s. I said, well, sure. Long story short, I went in and I sang. Came back again, sang, came back and read again. Two-year job out of that opposite Glenn Close. But I believe that it started from doing that scene at the Beverly Hills Playhouse from Mary to the Mob where I sang again and activated my instrument. Uh, so that got me excited in the last couple of years about thinking about what I would do for a musical theater class at the BHP. And that's how that has evolved. And I believe we're the only one on the West Coast actually doing this kind of an intense program for musical theater. And uh, I've tried to incorporate as much as I know in my time here as an actor and marrying those two uh, styles between acting and uh, musical theater. And now with shows like In the Heights in New York, which is a Latin hip-hop musical, and Passing Strange about an Afro-American guy trying to find his identity, and Next to Normal about the disintegration of a marriage, musicals are becoming deeper, stronger, more involved, and taking on more of the acting uh, techniques in their work. And so I'm very excited about teaching this class and hope that I can lead another generation of musical theater performers to, uh, I guess the word would be, push the envelope as Oklahoma did in 1941 where they first did dance as integrated to the story. Before then, dance was just a dance. And then they integrate into the story. So I'm hoping to take a younger generation of musical theater performers and taking the world we live in, the world of Obama, the world of Iraq, the world of Facebook, the world of MySpace, the world of Los Lobos, the world of Neo, the world of Usher, into the musical theater Form so that younger audiences once again want to flock, see musicals, and will speak to them, not as a museum piece, but as a part of their culture. And I guess kind of that's what I'm about in terms of musical uh, uh, theater.